everybody, welcome back to Tokyo Creative Play. I'm your host Emma and today I'm here with Sarah! Hey. And we are in Kyoto! Yay. The best place, Sarah's favorite place. It is indeed. It's a beautiful place. You know what Kyoto's famous for? Sweets! And you know what? We're sweet girls. So Ooh. we're gonna go grab some sweets <laughs> from three really unique spots that you can find around Kyoto. We're gonna eat some traditional sweets, wagashi. Wa meaning Japanese, gashi meaning sweets. Right now we're at Gosho, which is the Imperial Palace. Ta-da! Ta-da! And did you know you can eat sweets here? Yeah! Oh, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> did you know you can eat sweets here? Oh, I didn't. And now I do. So let's go eat some sweets at the Imperial Palace. Whee! Welcome to Sasaya Iori Kyoto Gosho in the middle of the Imperial Palace with some very loud piano, so hopefully you can hear us over that. <laughs> this place is super zen. Uh, you can see outside and see all these gardens around and it's super beautiful. And I think if we weren't filming, the music would be very calming, calming. and relaxing. <laughs> I just love the design. Like, look at these, yeah. like, very Japanese. I feel like in a temple you might have one of those windows that has this circular shape. Yeah, it's very modern. It's clearly very uh, fresh, beautiful <gasps> style. And, uh, <laughs> And we have ordered a bunch of different tea sweets. Mm -hmm. As you know, Kyoto, very, very famous for matcha, matcha. green tea. Hojicha. Hojicha, roasted green tea. And wagashi. And wagashi comes in so many different forms. Mm. So we have here a namagashi, mm. which is <laughs> raw. It's like a freshly made sweet and yeah. they change depending on the season. So right now we have one that is summer. Mm. And I don't I asked the staff and they're like, we're not sure what it is, but it looks <laughs> it looks like a um she's like, sorry, we haven't got the instruction manual yet. And I'm like, oh, okay, uh, so I'm assuming this is a green momiji leaf. Let's go with that. And then a freshly whisked matcha. Yeah, you gotta have the matcha to pair with the, the sweet. Oh. Also, like and there's no sugar usually in the teas here. So you can have like a bitter kind of tea and a sweet sweet. We we got some other things as well. So I got this thing called a dorayaki. Usually dorayaki is like two little pancakes with uh, red bean in the middle. But this one they've put matcha ice cream, a matcha paste, red bean, wow. whipped cream, Yum. some mochi balls. It looks really, really good. What did you get? I got a matcha parfait. We've got a combination of some beautiful matcha ice cream, cream, matcha, what? that's not wadabi matcha, what is this, matcha jelly? Yeah, jelly, I guess. Yeah, and then also some shirakama balls, red bean, and then like a wafer. So I guess we should dig in. Itadakimasu. The flavor is so strong, but it's it's sweet and, and it's, creamy. Yeah, creamy is a great way to describe this. Mm -hmm. That's exquisite. This is actually like super good. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I, I was worried it was going to be too much because they put like so much in this dorayaki, but mm. they completely knocked it out of the mm. This is like insanely good. Mm. I think this is a super unique experience because you get to have these awesome sweets, mm. but also be in the palace grounds. Mm. To think like thousands of years ago, the royal Japanese family was living here. One of the interesting things though for Gosho, which is the name of the imperial palace in Japanese, is that people are commuting through here. You see people riding their bikes, mm. walking through carrying like shopping bags. I actually did that when I was a student here because my oh, uni is right across the road. That's really cool. Yeah. It's massive so cool. though. Mm. Like honestly, I don't know how many kilometers it is, but it's it's a big walk. Mm. And I just love how peaceful it is. Like, mm -hmm. Especially we came like right at 10 a.m. so there's not a lot of people. I could imagine on a week weekend and it could be a bit more. And it's free to come in oh, to yeah. um, the Imperial yeah, Ground. Yeah. And it's only a um, three minute walk from Imadegawa Station, which is super mm -hmm. easy to access from Kyoto Station. Just like one train line. So each building in the grounds of the Imperial Palace has a lot of uh, history to it. Mm -hmm. This building itself also has a lot of history to it, but it's complicated. You know, there's lots of different families and guests of uh, mm -hmm. the Imperial the, the royal family. <laughs> right now we're at the Konoe residence, which it's very detailed, so if you do want to learn more about it, come here and they've got a lot of signage in English. Mm -hmm. We are drinking hojicha mm. latte, roasted green tea. Oh. And this is, honestly, Emma and I have discussed this, this is our favorite. It's the best. Yeah. If you guys like green tea, you have to try roasted green tea. There's something about it, it doesn't really taste that much like green tea. Completely different flavor, but it's got this kind of, it's still a bit earthy. It's earthy, yeah. It's still got, but it's got this like roasted element to it that just lightens it up a little bit. Really good. Yeah, and it comes in snack form as well, but mm, yeah, mm -hmm. please try it. I think it's Wait. one of the lesser known ones, yeah. You have to, mm. you have to try mm -hmm. it. How about we try this matcha mm. and namagashi? Yes. Emma's a big namagashi fan. I love namagashi. You've made it before, haven't you? I have. I have. Namagashi is made by using white beans usually and mm. mixing it with mochi. Oh, so okay. that's how it gets that like kind of almost chewy texture. They yep. always give you this wooden fork to cut it with, which I always struggle with. Oh, this one's got a nice kind of texture to it. This one's got mochi on the outside. And inside we have the white bean. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the one big Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
chewy mochi on the outside with also some maybe it's like broken up rice paper very slightly sweet on the outside and then the bean has a lot of sugar in it so that's the sweetest bit so now i'm going to balance mm. the sugar with the bitter oh and it's so frothy because they whisk it so nicely mm. but yeah this has been a wonderful start to the day i think this is a super unique spot honestly some of the best green tea sweets i've ever had 100 percent. beautiful atmosphere beautiful views love it 10 out of 10. yeah i'd come back yeah me yeah. too I i'm gonna come back <laughs> All right, I guess from here on, let's go to our next cool Wagashi spot. Mm, let's go. We made it to Kyoto Station and we are gonna be going to get some omiyage. I have a couple that I always buy when I come here, so yeah. shall we explore and see what we can find? Let's do it. All right, let's go. There's a particular one that I love so, so much. And it's these bad boys. They are ume mochi, so I might get multiple packs. <laughs> what, yuzu mochi? That's so cute! Got our stuff. Let's go. Got the goods! Woo! Yeah, let's snack on them. Hello, we are at Starbucks. Oh, what, what? is this? This is supposed to be a unique spot in Kyoto. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. Originally, we were thinking, you know, a unique spot, you could grab some really cool omiyage and go and just like sit in a beautiful park or find somewhere nice to sit and like do your own thing, which is unique to you. But it's just so hot, guys. We're gonna do it at Starbucks, so we're gonna be having a few. Starbucks drinks. But I also recommend getting these and having them on the Shinkansen if that's an option for you too. True. Here's some of our favorite omiyage. This is my favorite that Sarah introduced me to. This is uh, Yumochi. Yeah. So this is from Tsuruya, which is one of the famous like wagashi um, makers here in Kyoto. It's so chewy. It's so good. Mm. I wish that it was Yume. That's definitely use it. Yeah. No, it's amazing. It's delicious. They're not that expensive either. It's about three, four hundred yen for a little pack. And the packaging, it's so cute. I feel like you're going to put this in your yeah. house. Yeah. Right. I think this is probably my favorite omiyage from anywhere in Japan. It's just oh! a really good flavor. It's really cute and it's perfect. And it's so easy to eat. I feel like if you aren't like a big fan of wagashi, this is a great introduction because they're light, easy, and they're a fun texture, and it's definitely Japanese. Mm -hmm. So next we have yatsuhashi. A Which, very traditional. What is yatsuhashi? Because the thing is, yatsuhashi is different things. Mm -hmm. And I get so confused because some of it is like, you know, mochi with a little filling and it's all like, ugh. And some of it is super crispy, crunchy. I feel like yatsuhashi is just like a mochi kind of like, for the, the soft ones, they're like a mochi texture. And inside there's a lot of like fillings like anko or like bean paste. So it looks like yatsuhashi is just flour or rice flour and sugar combined in different forms. Yeah, this is gonna be a black sesame yatsuhashi. You can see. Yeah, it's that texture. These are honestly the most famous Kyoto souvenirs. So if you have like a Japanese friend who comes out from Kyoto, they're gonna give you this. Ja, I'm gonna try the crunchy one. It's oh. got a good ASMR crunch. I'm having a, the traditional cinnamon flavor. This is the most popular one called Niki. These ones have a really nice texture inside because you've got the paste with the black sesame and then also some whole beans in there. So it's like, mm. it's a nice little mouth adventure. This brand, there's a couple that sell it. The Shogoin Yatsuhashi is one of the most famous ones. And you can see they're from 1689. Oh my God. Like that's a lot of tradition for an wow. omiyage like sweet. Okay, so next up we have some hard candy or just Japanese handmade candy. You guys probably have this, you know, in your own country. We have it in Australia and the UK as well. They're just so cute. These ones have little faces on them. They're so adorable. And Gumba, <laughs> the heat is getting to us. Ah. Some of them also have really nice packaging. So like, look out when you go to Omiyage shops because there's so much variety. Oh, you got it. I did it. There's another face. Oh, yes. Nah. All right, thank you, mas. You bit that. Nani? I love I, the texture. I like to suck it a little bit, then bite it because it's kind of aerated. So it's not just like a super hard candy. It's just got, it's got kind of a nice crunch to it. Very satisfying. Mm -hmm. I've just got a lemon one. They are different flavors. Mm. All right, we have one more snack to review in this omiyage section. Okay, what is the snack? It is... Da -da -da -da. Wasabi peanuts! <laughs> Wasabi peanuts! In beautiful packaging. Very beautiful. There's lots of other snacks from this um, beautifully packaged series, so I recommend trying them out. But today we're gonna have the wasabi peanuts. Tadakimasu. Tadakimasu. Usually I don't like peanuts, so I will just try it. If I don't like it, that's because I don't like peanuts. I don't feel like the peanut flavor is strong. Oh, it's so spicy. <laughs> Really? Ooh, I could eat the whole packet. I don't find them spicy. Oh, My immune spicy. to wasabi. It's like, it's like the like pins and needles hit of wasabi and then it fades away immediately. Mm. I actually quite like that. Right? I, I don't like peanuts, but they've got this crispy fun. kind of outer layer and I love that. It's just so satisfying. Ooh. You can see there's one plain peanut. One plain peanut. 
But it's fun. I feel like this way, especially if it's nice weather out, you can just get whatever you want from the omiyage stores and then go and eat it with your friends at the park or something. Oh, give them a gift. Yeah, true. So all of the souvenirs we bought today actually keep really well. And if you're worried about, oh, will it make it by the time I get back to my home country after traveling? Yeah, almost all of these, except for like the ume, they're, they're like a month or like a, like a month or so. Oh, Whereas like the other ones, they're like good for even longer. Usually a lot of Japanese traditional sweets don't hold that long, like three days, if they're the really fresh ones. Keep in mind when you buy your souvenirs. Okay, I don't know about you, but I have had enough sweets for one day. <laughs> one I have sweets. reached my peak as well. Yeah. yeah. And we also have some stuff to do now for another video. So we'll see you tomorrow for our final spot in Kyoto. So sleep well. <laughs> sleep well. And see you tomorrow. Hello everybody, welcome back to day two in Kyoto and we're just on our way to a little cafe in Gion. It's so hot, oh my gosh. The heat never stops, but neither does the party. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Hello, we made it inside the cafe. We are at a cafe called Fugetsu. It's a cute, quiet little place located in the middle of Gion and mm. um, it's down one of the side streets. Yeah, so actually we couldn't film on the way in here because they're very, very strict mm. about filming in Gion because of all of the Maiko and uh, Geiko yeah. yeah. You've got to be really careful. I think it's because of a lot of tourism and um, people just putting cameras in their faces. So mm -hmm. when you come here, just respect the laws and then- Or you'll get fined yeah. for a lot of money. <laughs> so uh, yeah, don't film in Gion. But we're allowed to film inside here and mm -hmm. um, it's really great. We've ordered some things off the menu mm -hmm. and we had a little chat to the one of the cafe owners and we found out that her family were actually Michael yeah. and Geisha, like some, yeah. Also, we have this beautiful little garden behind mm -hmm. us, which is super nice. Yeah. And the geisha come here in the evening. I don't mm. know if like normal customers can come in the evening. Yeah. Yeah. Because the cafe closes at 5 p.m. I'm it's excited. Cool. It feels very traditional, yeah. like authentic. Yeah. And I've never been to like a cafe or a restaurant in Gion. Gion. Oh, so, yeah. first time. I felt like when I first came and visited Gion, I thought it was very like hard and like maybe expensive, but there's actually affordable places. Yeah. And I feel just very intimidated when I come to mm. Gion because it's like a lot of the time it looks <laughs> so fancy and you're like, oh, do I go in? And you're yeah. like, am I allowed to come in? So let's Wait see food. what kind of stuff we get. Okay, our order has arrived. We have the ramene amitsu. And then I have the colorful shiratama, um, which are made from tofu, mm. which I feel like Kyoto is famous for its tofu, the um, silk, what's that tofu called? I'll put it on, a, yuba. on the screen. Oh, yuba. yuba. So there's definitely something you've got to like if you haven't tried any of this before. We have kinako, we also have like, I think that's some red bean paste. Cream, I believe. Whipped cream. And then what do you call the salty seaweed? And a mysterious blue. It looks kind of like a namagashi jenna. Yeah, I think it's going to be shiroa but it's colored ah, and maybe yeah. flavored like soda. Yeah. And then I guess that's like the, Yeah. Mm, so, but brown sugar syrup. Itadakimasu. <laughs> it's so mm. sweet. Whoa. Mm. It, tastes, it tastes like soda. Straight up. Great it soda. tastes like soda candy. Mm. So interesting. So this, it makes it really sweet because we put some brown sugar syrup mm. on it, but actually the stuff by itself isn't sweetened. So this oh, jelly really? isn't sweet, but I think cause I got a mouthful of syrup, I was like, oh, it must be so sweet. These shirakama balls are really chewy, mm. fun texture and also slightly warm. Please try one. Please try some of mine as well. <laughs> oh, 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 please. please. <laughs> it's my blue jelly. Oh, I can taste that ramen now. Yeah, they're really good. I like how warm they are. Yeah, these ones aren't warm anymore, but and they're still warm. Wow, there's a huge like cream, like ramen air cream in there. Is it? I didn't, I didn't get it yet. It's just, okay. it's a little weird. Like the, the soda flavor yeah. with like the whole one guy. Usually you have it mm. like, oh, it tastes like red bean or it tastes like matcha or there's some kind of recognizable thing, but this is mm. like soda is uh, interesting. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna combine some of my mm. sides. I'm gonna go for the whipped cream. You're a little cream. scientist. Yeah, and then red bean. Mm. They've got little rice balls on top of the, um, oh really? Yeah, I love that. And then mm -hmm. I'll go for some kinako on top. That is ramen flavored white bean. Oh, is it maybe in yours? Is there ramen candy hearts on top? Oh, let me try as well. Yes. <laughs> okay, look one. at my creation, everybody. Looks good. You gotta give us. I'm gonna try this thing. I with... love this cream. Yeah, the cream is really good. I've never had sugar come up with cream before, but they should start doing that. Yeah. Maybe just some parfaits. Oh, go for it. You're not vibing. <laughs> it's kantan jelly, so oh. it's not gelatin, it's kantan, which is a like a like agar agar kind of. It's like mm. a vegetarian, like a seaweed version of gelatin. It has a different kind of chew to it. There's zero flavor and zero sweetness because it's just a cupid flavorless jello. I will be a scientist. You're gonna eat the leaf? No. I was like, wow, she's going for it. <laughs> I'm going to put, I'm gonna do a little bit of red bean on the top, and then I'm gonna get some whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is what I did? Nice. I'm gonna go one. I think you could do this one. Yeah, yeah. that's what I missed. 
Here we go. Oh, you look so happy when you ate that just now. <laughs> you were like, mm mm mm. mm. What you will be just the best. They have um, kohakuto? Kohakuto? Ko like, 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 like brown sugar? The crystallized jelly. They use mm. it in a lot of ASMR mukbangs. They crystallize the outside, so it's jelly on the inside, and then the outside has this crunch. It sounds great. Right next to me, in my ear. I think this is good, but the mix of ramen and such a traditional dish, it's not quite working for me. This one's really good. I like all the different yeah, toppings, funny. but I, this one's... I am not a big fan of the salty cereal, but I'm gonna try it. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm also not a huge fan of it, but... Wow, that was extra salty. <laughs> Are you always that salty? Yeah, they're usually pretty salty. Still not a fan? More than I remember from last time. Mm. It tastes a little like salt and vinegar today. I, know, I don't know if I'd like the combination, sorry to interrupt, but sorry. with like cream. You're doing cream and seaweed? Yeah, well, you can try it. It's not that bad. Cream and you can put it on your last shit if you want. Oh, I don't know if I want to sacrifice a shit. I think not. <laughs> really don't love that. <laughs> well, I'm gonna wash it down with some. Enjoy. Oh, well, there's a red bean in here. Hello, oh, Mr. Bean. But yeah, I think that a lot of places try to, when it comes to summer or like some kind of season, if there's like a particular flavor, they'll try to do like seasonal item and use that flavor, like chocolate mint during the summer as well, mm. or like potato flavors during the autumn. Mm. And sometimes with this kind of cuisine, sometimes they just love the good old fashioned stuff. Mm. Where it's like matcha, or if it's matcha and they, they add like cream to it or something. It's fun to try it because it's, you know, mm -hmm. only here for the one short period of time, like mm -hmm. the season. Maybe we'll just chill out and enjoy this beautiful Engawa Japanese yeah. panel behind us and the calm vibes here mm. in Kyoto mm -hmm. in this cafe in the middle of Gion, the back streets of Kyoto where all the geisha are. Yeah. All right, well, that was our time in Kyoto. It was really, really fun. Try a lot of new things and experience some old favorites. Yeah. What would you guys like to try in Kyoto? Let us know in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Here she comes. Ooh. I got the goods. Oh, <laughs> Sarah's favorite pine tree. Pine tree. <laughs> pine tree. Three unique pine trees in Kyoto. <laughs>